Today in Road to Glory, we're going to be finding out if a 5-star running back can carry a 1-star program. You might be wondering, how does a running back this good end up at one of the worst programs in the country? So let me tell you. Tiago Davis is originally from Portugal. He always wanted to be a football player, just not that kind of football player. When he turned 17, his family made the decision to let him move to Massachusetts with relatives. This would allow him to go to high school for one year in the States and play football. Tiago was an absolute beast in his lone season of high school breaking single season school records. But the team wasn't very good and no scouts knew who he was. Tiago sent his highlights to just about every college in the Northeast and UMass was the only D1 program to give him a look. UMass is one of the worst D1 programs in the country. Coming off a three win season, which actually matches their win total from the previous four seasons combined. We know Tiago is gonna be one of the best running backs in the nation, but what we don't know is how much he can do on a squad like this. It's inevitable that big schools are gonna come calling this offseason and Tiago's gonna get wooed by programs he dreamed of playing at and he's also gonna get offered NIL deals he could never imagine but Tiago's a loyal person his heart is with UMass he's gonna go on to love his teammates and not want to leave that one school that gave him a chance. I guess what happens in Tiago's future is the one mystery we're going to have to find out as this series goes on. We just got on campus and we already have a position battle. I'm actually five overalls higher than the guy we're going against, but hey, I guess we still got to earn it. We got to win two out of three mini games, backfield survival. I've done this one a few times in Madden. When I say a few times, I'm talking only like three times. I don't know the strategy for this, but luckily we only need 1500 points. Yes, we got this guy stuck. But then here comes the other guy. Oh, this is going to be tight. Got the stiff arm bonus. We just need this 500 right now. And I want to say we're going to win. We got 1,000 points, 1,500 points. Dude, this guy is fast. He must be like the other running back's best friend. He does not want me getting this. We're going to trip him up. There's the extra 500. And we're going to end up winning round one of the mini games. Next up, we got the jump cut drill. Can't say I've ever done this before. But it doesn't seem too difficult. Okay, as I say that, we got four reps remaining, which actually makes me feel a little bit better. We just got to be patient. Got to 200. Just run for the end zone. That's going to give us over a thousand points. Beautiful. Just take it to the crib and we're going to win mini game number two. The third mini game is rushing attack, which we don't even have to do. We're already a starter and this is by far the easiest one. And that's why you guys will never see me do practice every week because this is all we're going to do is this right here. I don't know if it's this easy for everyone or my team is just that bad, but even on Heisman difficulty, we easily get gold every time. Let's go, Tiago. Starting running back expected, but it feels good to earn it. Weekly agenda. I feel like you guys don't really care about this, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. We're going to do some study and then we're gonna hit the weight room do some training and we're gonna do some more training and just like that It was already time for week number one first ever play. They got me blocking which is fine. I'm just gonna do my job Tyson's gonna take off man's got some serious wheels fun fact about Tyson He was actually a top recruit coming out of high school started his career at Clemson coach is spamming the read option right now And it's working Look at the O-line paving the way. It feels good to get easy runs. And we'd keep using the read option to our advantage, getting all the way down to the 12 before the backup running back would punch it in. First touchdown. Even though it wasn't me, we're winning. I love it. To no surprise, the Eastern Michigan run defense was looking extremely sus. They gave up over 177 yards per game last year on the ground, and we were looking to top that today. I'm going to be following my right guard on this play. They have no answer for us. I feel like I'm getting close to getting a big one. This right side is looking wide open for Tyson. He gave it to me, and we got a touchdown! Shout out number 64. That man made two huge blocks. I know they don't have the best run defense, but I did not expect this start for us. Despite our hot start in the first quarter, there's one thing that became extremely clear in the second, is that we're not that good of a team when it comes to passing. That just hit him in the head. Coach, we got to get back to running, please. We're finally going under center to run. We need more of this. Like, they can't match our physicality. They're definitely starting to stack the box on us. It doesn't matter. Look at Tyson. Keep fighting down at the one. We just scored with me on the bench, but I'm out here for the two-point conversion, which is sick because that's like the analytical decision. Oh, I'm not going to get in. That was definitely my fault. I feel like I should have been a little more patient. At this point, the floodgates were open, and an Eastern Michigan turnover would set us up for our second touchdown. Wait, I scored a touchdown. 
Why didn't I get to play it? It gave me the animation that I was subbing out on fourth and goal, and I guess we went for it, and it says I scored a touchdown. And for the fourth quarter, we were just padding our stats at this point. Oh, I shouldn't have juked. Might have been a house call if I didn't. It looks like my day is over, which makes sense. We're up 27 to 5, not much time left. What an opening game. Final stats, 24 carries, 134 yards, and two touchdowns. Brilliant performance. Isn't this how like they clap over there in like Portugal? I don't know. I see all the all the soccer players do it. Looks like we got our first NIL offer from Chef Sporting Goods. I don't think this is worth one energy per week, especially with the amount of wear and tear we're getting. So I'm going to decline this one. Looks like we got another offer. This one is from SeatGeek. This one we will be accepting. And on that note, thanks so much SeatGeek for sponsoring today's video. You guys have used my code so much that I have a new offer even for existing customers. Whether you're a new customer or not, you can get 10% off any tickets using my code TDP10. MLB is in full swing. The NFL schedule is out. So many amazing artists on tour and every other event going on in your area this summer, SeatGeek is the best place to get tickets. So no matter how many times you've bought tickets on SeatGeek before, if you use code TDP10, that's going to get you 10% off your next purchase. So take out your phone, open the SeatGeek app and add code TDP10 to your account. Even if you don't use it today, make sure you get it added to your account because it's only available for a limited time. Huge shout out to SeatGeek for always sponsoring and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Game number two, we're taking on Toledo. Already down 7-0, that's fine. This team doesn't have uh, the best run defense. Oh, look at this. Tiago, you didn't have to do him like that. Did you guys see that little hesitation move? It was already a good run up to this point, but that was sick. That hezzy move, he had no chance at tackling us. Despite the 75-yard touchdown, we didn't see another snap until under two minutes left in the second quarter. We're finally back in. Am I that out of shape that we needed like two quarters off after a big run? We're opening up the playbook today, which I like. A little outside zone action. This team cannot tackle me. And those missed tackles allowed us to put together a nice two-minute drive using both the passing and the running game. I'm going to motion out wide. I'm kind of a decoy right now. The middle of the field is just wide open every time. They're going to take me out 12 seconds. There's no way we kick, right? We got a touchdown. Keyshawn Brown. Big score before the half. Defense just forced a turnover. We got great field position. We cannot let this go to waste. Oh, look at this. We might be gone again. Tiago, we're all the way down to the five yard line. Our yards per carry is through the roof. They are not in the right defense here. Wow, what a block shed by the big boy. I didn't think he had any chance of getting there and now they're taking us out. I feel like I always get my touchdowns vultured. It makes me kind of sad. Toledo just came back with a 66 yard touchdown. We're only up three and it's blown coverage. There is just no defense being played in this game. And we're about to go up 10 points again. Another huge touchdown would put us up 34 to 17. And then coach called on me to seal this game up. Calling on my number in the running and passing game. Start of the fourth quarter. Yeah, their defense is tired. You can tell they're cooked. Little RPO action. Look at the cut. We feel so elusive. I love it. Bunch of time coming off this clock right now. Oh, we broke his ankles, but it's coming back. I want to say it's going to be a hold on the O-line. That's it. 34-24. This one was fun. There's a lot of big plays. We finished 18 carries, 154 yards. That's an 8.5 average. Added another touchdown in the season, 93 yards after contact. That is very impressive. On the road in week three, we're taking on Buffalo. I love this stadium. It looks huge with the track around it. Oh, that's going to be intercepted. Yeah, it's not like I was wide open or anything. It's fine. And it's going to be a pick six. That is a terrible start to the game. They got everybody in the box. How am I supposed to run against this defense? We're going backwards. Oh, man, this is going to be a tough one. And things would not get much better for our offense with them getting another stop and quickly scoring a touchdown to make it 14-0. to zero. However, it was an injury to the Buffalo defense that could turn this game around. That star linebacker is still out. And now we got our biggest play of the game. We have to take advantage of this. That guy was looking like Luke Keekley before the injury. Yeah, things are really starting to open up. There we go. Tyson, good run. One play at a time. We're going to be right back in this. And even though we'd only get three points on this drive, we weren't done just yet. Need that. Yes. There's no way a linebacker can cover us in man coverage. It looks like that linebacker's back in the game. Maybe he's still banged up. Oh, no. We fumbled. I just blew it. We were having such a good drive, too. Defense, I need you to bail me out. Yeah. 
That didn't happen. Buffalo would score in their next two possessions, putting us down by 25 points. This play has been so good for us. Yeah, he's going to be late getting over. We are so open, and we're inside the red zone. Interesting. Going back to the run here. Nope, you stay away from me. Broken tackle. It's a touchdown. I'm not saying it's likely, but it's not impossible. All right, we got to go quick. We need to get one more playoff here in the third quarter. Look at this. Offense is coming to life. We're going to be starting the fourth quarter with some momentum. And in the fourth quarter, everybody started stepping up. I must have saw seven different guys making catches. And we'd end up scoring two more touchdowns with me on the sideline, making this quite the game. Can you believe they got me blocking on the two-point conversion? This is actually big. We got it. That's going to make it a three-point game. It's coming down to an onside kick. Coach, you got to put me on the hands team. And it's recovered by Buffalo. We're going to end up losing. We had another decent game. 16 carries, 89 yards, a touchdown. And then we added 72 yards receiving. So overall, we had, what, close to 150 yards? But we beat ourselves in this game. We had a pick six. We had three interceptions in total. And I had that costly fumble in the red zone. That hurts, but I know Tiago's going to make up for it in the next one. 